In this video, I will talk about speed and velocity, a topic covered in the translators cafe.com unit converter website article, which you can read by clicking on the link below. I will discuss the units used to measure velocity and give some examples of average velocity for people, animals and vehicles. Finally, I will give an overview of some special types of velocity like the speed of sound and light, as well as four velocity and group velocity. To open the converter, click on the link below. This video explains in detail how to use the translatorscafe.com unit converter. Velocity is a measure of the direction and the speed of an object. Speed measures the rapidity of the movement of an object, and it is scalar, while velocity is a vector and therefore both magnitude and direction are required to define it. Linear velocity is calculated for objects moving in a straight line, while angular velocity is calculated for objects that are turning. The average velocity v can be calculated by dividing the total distance traveled delta x by the average time traveled delta t. The SI unit for speed is meters per second. Kilometers per hour are also commonly used, along with miles per hour in the UK and the USA. Knots are used in maritime and air navigation. In everyday conversations, we often use speed and velocity interchangeably. In physics, speed is a scalar value. This means that it does not have direction. If the direction is added to this value, then it becomes velocity. For example, 10 meters per second refers to the speed of the object, while 10 meters per second north refers to its velocity. An interesting example is a car moving with constant speed along a circumference. While its speed remains the same, its velocity is constantly changing because it is accelerating. This acceleration is normal to the direction of movement of the car in each given moment, which is to say, it is directed along the radius toward the center of the circumference. Its average velocity equals to zero. For objects that are accelerating, velocity is calculated as follows. If an object is accelerating at a constant acceleration a, with the initial velocity u for a period of time delta t, the final velocity v is calculated using this formula. If an object is moving with a constant acceleration a, the initial velocity u and the final velocity v, the average velocity is calculated using this formula. Velocity or speed of vehicles, for example cars, is generally measured using a speedometer. In digital speedometers, the analog signal from the sensor in the gearbox or from one of the wheels is converted into digital form and then sent to the speedometer's display panel. The iPhone speedometer application works differently. It measures the distance traveled during a given period of time for example, 10 or 20 seconds using the satellite global positioning data. This distance is then divided by the time period and converted by the application into the familiar kilometers or miles per hour. Here, 10 or 20 seconds are selected because during this time the vehicle can cover a distance much larger than the variance in positioning. Now, let us talk about the speed of light and sound. According to the theory of relativity, the speed of light in a vacuum is the fastest speed at which energy and information can travel. It is denoted as c and is approximately equal to 300,000 km per second. In transparent medium, the speed of light is lower. For example, Light travels with a speed of 190,000 km per second inside glass and about 225,000 km per second in water. Travel at the speed of light matter would require infinite energy, 
Therefore, matter does not travel at that speed. The speed of sound is usually measured in an elastic medium and it is 340 meters per second in dry air at 20 degrees centigrade. Here, elastic medium refers to any media that returns to its original state after being distorted. Some good examples are rubber, water, wood and metal, but of course air is common medium as well. The speed of sound is high in liquids and even faster in solids. It depends on the density, compressibility and the shear modulus of the material. Speed of sound in solids depends on the material's elasticity and its response to shear stress. An example of shear stress on a material such as cardboard is cutting this material with dull scissors. When we try to cut the cardboard, we deform it, and the deformation is caused by shear stress. Speed of sound is associated with a special number called Mach number, M. It is a special variable of the ratio of the object's speed within a fluid medium and the speed of sound in that medium. It is calculated using the following formula. Here, A is the speed of sound in the medium and V is the speed of the object. Mach number is used to represent speeds for objects moving close to the speed of sound or faster, such as aircraft. It is not a constant. It depends on the medium, which in turn varies with pressure and temperature. Have you ever heard the word supersonic? The speed is referred to as supersonic for objects that travel faster than Mach 1. Now we will talk about average speeds of vehicles, animals and humans. We all know that vehicles generally travel fast, much faster than humans. But how fast is fast? For commercial airplanes with turbofan engines, the cruising speed ranges between 244 and 257 meters per second or 878 and 928 kilometers per hour or 0.83 to 0.87 max. This is about 10 times faster than the speed of a car on a highway. The turbofan engine is a gas turbine engine with a ducted fan that uses mechanical energy from the gas turbine to accelerate air and provide thrust. For commercial airplanes with turboprop engines, the cruising speed ranges between 125 and 257 meters per second, or 450 and 926 kilometers per hour or 0.36 to 0.87 Mach. A turboprop engine is a jet engine which drives an aircraft propeller through a reduction gear. High-speed trains such as the Shinkansen in Japan run at maximum speeds in the range between 36 and 122 meters per second or 130 and 440 kilometers per hour. City transit vehicles move with the average speed of only 15 km per hour. This is actually pretty slow, if you think about it. The current 100 meter record holder, as of January 2014, Jamaican athlete Usain Bolt can run at more than double that speed, at 37.5 km per hour or 10.33 meters per second. A hydrofoil boat can move with a speed up to 80 km per hour, while a cruise boat can travel with a speed of up to 30 km per hour. Animals can run or fly at very impressive speeds, surpassing even some of our faster vehicles. For example, a hawk can reach up to 89 meters per second or 320 km per hour. This is about the same speed as high-speed trains and sometimes even faster. A lion runs at about 22 meters per second or 79 kilometers per hour. A horse can run at about 21 meters per second or 75 kilometers per hour, although generally 
horses do not sustain these speeds for very long, as well as lions. A hunting dog can run at about 20 meters per second, which is 72 kilometers per hour. These Canadian geese can fly with a speed up to 20 meters per second or 72 kilometers per hour. Deer run at about 20 meters per second or 72 kilometers per hour to make sure that they escape their predators. Rabbits are very fast as well. They can travel at speeds of 16 meters per second or 57 kilometers per hour. Cats can run with a speed of up to 13 meters per second or 47 kilometers per hour, although they can only maintain the high speed for a very short time. Squirrels can travel at about 5 meters per second or 18 kilometers per hour. Humans can walk at about 1.4 meters per second, which is 5 kilometers per hour, run at speeds up to 10.4 meters per second or 37.5 kilometers per hour, and skate on ice at speeds of up to 14 meters per second, which is about 50 kilometers per hour. Now let us discuss some unusual velocities. The classical velocity is a vector in three dimensions. In special and general relativity, velocity has an additional fourth dimension to be represented in space-time. This velocity is often referred to as four velocity. The four velocity of an object changes in direction, but the value is constant at the speed of light c. The form velocity is defined as follows. Here x represents the world line, a unique path that the object has traveled through four-dimensional space-time. And tau is the proper time or the time between two events in the reference frame of the two events. Group velocity is measured for waves. It describes the combined shape of the wave's amplitudes. It can be calculated as follows. Here k represents the angular wave number that is the spatial frequency of the wave. It is usually measured in radians per meter. The angular frequency of the wave, a scalar measure of the rate of rotation, is denoted by omega. It is generally measured in radians per second. Hypervelocity is velocity that is faster than 3000 meters per second. This is much faster than the sound can travel. Solids moving with hypervelocity behave similar to fluids because the stresses due to the inertia are much higher than the strength of the materials upon impact. When the hypervelocity is extreme, the two colliding objects turn to gas state, becoming vaporized. Objects move with hypervelocity in space, and it is a phenomenon that the spacecraft designers and astronauts need to consider, because collisions at these speeds cause significant damage to parts or to the entire spacecraft. If a person wearing a spacesuit encounters an impact with an object traveling at this speed, the spacesuit will likely be severely damaged and may not save the person from injury or death. A recent movie, Gravity, released in 2013, shows some examples of a series of such impacts. You can find the trailer and excerpts of this movie, as well as comments of real astronauts about the movie, on YouTube. NASA has a hypervelocity impact testing facility, where they experiment with hypervelocity impacts between the orbital debris and spacecraft or spacesuit materials. For example, they experiment with how the solar panels or the fuel tanks would be affected by such an impact. The researchers accelerate objects, including hazardous materials, to velocities greater than 7500 meters per second to test their impact on shields, spacecraft and spacesuits. Thank you for watching. 
Don't forget that you can convert any value mentioned in this video into another value using the translatorscafe.com unit converter. You'll find the link below in the description of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks again.